Hello all. Inside of this video I'm going to be talking about Reaver and how you can crack a, a router with that has WPS enabled on it. Uh, not all do, but many do. And uh, first thing we're going to want to do is open up a terminal window. We're going to need two, so we might as well just go ahead and open up two here. And I'm going to want to see if the wireless adapter is connected, so I'm going to run a airmon ng command. Looks like I forgot to connect it. Okay, there it goes. Okay, we know that's connected because it's showing the chipset. And after that we're going to want to do an airmon ng and start WLAN 0 and it came up it's enabled on MON 0 so at this point we're gonna we need to see which which routers are out there we could run an arrow dunk command to see all the routers that are out there but except for we don't know which one has WPS enabled so we're gonna want to use the wash command to do to see which one have WPS enabled on it and uh, sometimes the wash command can act up, but I found a, a, a little trick that helps me. And uh, you, could, you don't have to do this, but I do, I do this just because uh, wash can give you problems sometimes. So just make director slash etc slash reaver, and it, uh, it helps it out. You, you can do that if, whether or not you want to do it or not. It's up to you. So now we, we want to run the wash command to see what what uh, routers out there have WPS on it. So it's wash minus I, mon zero. You can see that we've got enabled on mon zero right there. And so mon zero minus, and it's a capital C, so capital C. And we're gonna see what's out there. You can see right here, the D-link, which is mine. So, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if I use it. And you can see whether or not it's locked or not. WPS is locked, says no, version. And it gives you the ESSID, the BSSID right there, which we're gonna, gonna, gonna wanna copy that so we can paste it later. So go ahead and just copy. And hit Control C so that it, we, we can stop it inside this window. So Control C, stop. We're going to go over to another terminal window here and we're going to run Reaver. So we're going to say Reaver minus I, it's on mon zero, and minus B, and we're going to paste that BSS ID that we copied, and we're going to say negative Victor Victor, and we're going to let it run. Now there is ways you can speed this up. I'm just showing you the basics of it so that you know you run it this way then it's very basic it, it could take two to ten hours depending on how it goes but if you do it this way it, it's very you could you could do different things like you could uh, fix the channel the channel like this one's on channel six so you could fix the channel to like channel six or you know, you could do like minus minus snack so that it doesn't go and acknowledge knack it and all that. But th doing it this way, it's very basic, but uh, it's straight to the point. And it is, at this point, we're just gonna have to let it run, and uh, it's it'll crack it in like two to ten hours. So I'm just gonna let it run, and when it's done, I'll I'll come back and I'll show you the end result. Alright, so I'm back, and uh, as you can see, there's the password right there, and it cracked it. I'm not sure how long it took, because I just let it run, uh, So, but probably, I'm assuming around four or five hours, I think. And uh, there's the pin. It finally hit the right pin after brute forcing the pin, and it pops out the password right there. And there's the router, which was D-Link. And as I said before, there's ways you can speed this up. If you're wondering, uh, like the other commands, you could type in Reaver. 
uh, space forward slash question mark and it'll pop up with all the different ways you could speed it up if you need to but this is a very handy tool reaver and that's basically how you do it